Nora Cones leads the way for Trainer tonight, an overtime win over Underwood. Uh, Nora, a hard fought battle, but you guys come out on top. Just tell me about the win and how you and your teammates are feeling after that one. I think we fought really hard tonight. You know, we came up off a loss from St. Albert, so we just wanted to fight hard and get a win tonight. Last game of the regular season against a rival to have to win a game like this where you know goes to overtime and, and you really had to earn it. How big is that? It's really big, and I think this win is huge for us, and we're going to have a lot of momentum. You know, we had a lot of momentum coming into overtime. We know how we just had to push through the whole game and finish the game strong. Coach Chapman felt like defense kind of sparked things tonight. Uh, so tell me, as a player, kind of your thoughts on the defense. Um, our defense always helps us, and if we play hard on defense, then our offense just trails into that. And I think our defense is really good tonight. It was great. On the flip side, uh, tell me about the offense tonight. It wasn't our best, but I mean, we worked through it. We just kept shooting it and kept being confident, and then the shots became to fall. You end up with 10 to lead the team. What was your key tonight offensively? Just moving the ball, you know, cutting off of the ball and screening for my teammates. On to the postseason. Uh, you know, very good chance you could see Underwood again. But regardless of the opponent, how are you guys feeling? Um, I think we're feeling good. We just we got to keep getting better every day and working really hard in practice, and I think that's going to really help us. All right, Coach, uh, I mean, Underwood gave you guys a battle, uh, but you're able to find a way to get the win. Just tell me about tonight and what stood out to you. Yeah, you know, um, Underwood definitely was prepared and gave us a great battle, and it was great to be in a, a size court like this and, and with the open baskets. So it was good for both teams, especially because it was a close game. And, you know, you got to give Underwood credit for that. That first half, I think we went into the halftime with 13 points. So you're going to win many games scoring 13 points, but there's probably a few factors that contributed to that. Um, we don't, you know, our legs are tired. And, but I thought the effort of our girls was there the whole night. So I just thought if we could catch a little break here, um, two or three possessions at a time, we'd be okay. Going into the postseason, what can be learned from a game like this? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, going into the postseason is on everybody's mind, and you got to realize it's still one game at a time. So. Uh, I think maybe coaches learn more <laughs> than the players because, uh, you know, they just want to play and work hard and uh, give all they got. So certainly from a coach's standpoint, uh, some of the situations we were in uh, that we could do better uh, preparing the, the players for. And so we'll certainly do that. Offensively, one basket better tonight. Where do you feel uh, the successes came for you guys on the offensive end? Well, I, I think actually it was defensively. Um, all night, you know, our defense was there, you know, we kept holding them down and we just had to get the score in, you know. I thought one big play was uh, when Schwartz drove and uh, three girls collapsed on her and she got over to Ella for a layup. I think that was a big uh, a big play, a big momentum for us. And, you know, our girls, they, they try so hard no matter what we're in. And uh, so you can see it in their faces. And I just hoping a few buckets hit and, and we'd be good to go. You look at the box score, uh, you know, I don't think anybody's going to, like, stand out. Nora leads the way with 10, but all around, different girls stepped up at different times, it felt like. Yeah, they did, you know, um, with steals and even defensive rebounding. And, you know, Jacobson's tough. Uh, she's tough to handle. And I think some things our girls did that didn't show up in the box score definitely wasn't scoring. But what we was doing defensively and, and holding them down was a huge key. What was the key in overtime? Oh, you know, I just think uh, whoever got the first bucket, the first punch, um, Getting a, getting a four-point lead is huge in a game like that um, and just taking care of the basketball and, you know, not, and not um, you know, freaking out. You know, the girls held their composure and did a good job. Heading into postseason play, uh, how do you feel about where you guys are right now? You know, I, you know, I think, I think we're, we're fine. Um, I'm real happy with the mindset that our girls are in. Um, you know, we took a tough loss um, the other day and we took one a couple weeks ago, so we're certainly learning from them still and the good thing is it's showing us what we need to do and, you know, our girls are excited and ready to go, and so I'm, I'm uh, very confident they're going to perform well. Very good chance you could see these guys again. Is that something that, that you entertain at all? You know, uh, you know, I certainly um, have no control who we, who we see, so uh, we'll entertain whoever wants to come to trainer, and uh, whoever it is will be ready, and we'll be ready, and we'll see what happens.